Hello and welcome to Library Drawing Party. Today we're going to be drawing this beautiful waterfall. To get started, let's take our wet brush and grab some blue and we're going to just swipe it on the dry paper and we want to see the brush strokes because this is showing the droplets of water as it falls down the waterfall. Once we have our waterfall painted, we can start mixing a rock color. Now, I have some scraps left from other projects, so you can use those because we're going to be mixing a gray. So I'm going to take the blue that I just had And then I'll do some brown. And some more blue. And a little black. And maybe even a tad of red. Okay, then once you have a gray that you're happy with, then we're going to use that to paint the rocks. So there's a big rock right at the top of the waterfall. So I'm going to paint that in. And then I'm going to paint in some smaller rocks. There's a big rock here. And I want to try and approximate the shapes of the rocks because this will help when I'm doing my colored pencils and I already have an idea of where I want to place the rocks. It doesn't have to be perfect and we don't want to have a lot of white space because this is going to be our background color. But it does help to have an idea of where you want the rocks to go once we get to the color pencil stage. You're going to want some variation in the color too, so you're going to want to add some extra pigment in sections. And we'll wait for this to dry and then add some more color in. I'm going to start working on the opposite side. And we don't want to go all the way up to the top of the paper because we want to save some room for our shrubs and greenery. And some variation. And now that the other side's dried a bit, let me add in a bit more. This will also help define those shapes that we were working on. And this side. Okay, next I'm going to Take my green and I'm going to mix it with some yellow and a bit of brown. That was a lot of brown. 
you add too much of one color, it's not a big deal. You just got to make sure that you get the proportions right. So just add in some more green and some more yellow. We're going to be using a decent amount of green anyway. And you can always save it for other projects. Okay, so here's the forest green that I mixed. And I'm going to add that above. We're going to be adding more details with the colored pencils, but this way we have our colors established on the page. It'll make the colored pencil process easier. I'm going to add in some mossy green too the side. Because there would be moss growing near the waterfall. There's some ferns down below. So here I'm going to mix in some true green. for some variation. And then let's take our blue. You don't have to clean your brush too much because this will help to find bottom and mix the colors together but we're going to want to paint some water where the waterfall is landing. And you can even add in some blue to the rocks. Again this helps with the variation and helps tie the colors together. Now this particular waterfall had some red from some shrub flowers, so I'm going to add in some red Nice contrast, all the cool colors. And even add in a tiny smidge of red on the opposite side. Perhaps mix some in with the rocks. And maybe add a couple of dabs. Whoops. Didn't want that. That's fine. You just clean your brush and mix it in. I'm going to add in some more green. Since it's dripping, I'm going to take some of my tissue and just blend some of those lines. Okay. Now at this point, we have our watercolors established. I just want to put a little bit more blue at the base. We want this to be nice and dark since this is where all of the water would be congregating after it falls from the waterfall. Now that we 
everything established, or watercolor background, I'm going to use watercolor pencils to go right on top of the watercolors. If you have regular colored pencils at home, you're going to want to wait for this to dry. So I'm going to start with my black. And I want to emphasize places that have shadow. We want the rocks to have nooks and crannies. This will help keep it interesting. Also helps keep the eyes moving around the page. The contrast between the dark of the shadows and the light of the waterfall is really going to help bring out the movement of the waterfall. Your eye will be drawn and the flow of the water. Okay, now let's switch to the other side. There's also a big black space here where the water comes out of the rock. We don't want to cover up all of the moss that we drew. We still want to be able to see that, but we just want to make sure that you can see all of the different rocks and the shadows that they're creating. Since rocks are pretty freeform and organic, you can let your pencil guide you. You can also use charcoal for this. You have some charcoal at home. It's going to have a similar look. Let's add in some rocks in the waterfall. This will help establish those layers. Okay, now let's take our sandy brown. I'm going to add in some highlights to these rocks. Kind of reminds me of a cake, like a wedding cake with the tears. So I'm going to take my medium brown, I'm going to add in some more texture and emphasize and blend some of the colors that we added together. I'm going to add in some color 
in the waterfall. You can see that it's peek peeking through. You can also blend it with your fingers. Before I add too much rock color, I want to use my green. This is an emerald green. I'm going to add in some ferns. So we want to define the leaves of the ferns so we know we're looking at ferns. And we want to draw the ferns over areas where we painted green. We want to see all of those beautiful leaves. And there's some big ferns over here. some above. You want to try and keep that fern shape but these are going to be a little bit more obscured. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We're mostly just going for texture up here. I'm using the side of my pencil for this. Just helping me get a little bit thicker strokes. So to draw the fern, I'm drawing one big line and then a series of V's that connect to the big line. Alright, I'm going to take a mossy green and some of those sections where we added the moss, I want to just go over that with the green and I'll blend colored pencil and watercolor a bit more. Make it look a bit more uniform. You can add that to the waterfall as well. Add it to our ferns. some above. I don't want to add it everywhere, just, just for some variation in color. And then let's take our dark brown and add in some patches of dark brown. Our grass. Let's do a bit more green at the top of the waterfall. And there you have it. That's our waterfall. Thank you for joining us in this week's library drawing party. We have library drawing parties every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And keep being creative.